Hey guys, so today in our lesson we discovered that there is something that some of your computers have and some of your computers don't have and it's making a really big difference in how you can get work done. So on my Google Chrome, I have what's called the menu, okay? It has all the buttons, it has the title, all the things, even has my picture, okay? On some Chromebooks, it looks like this. Hold on. It's lagging on me, okay? So a lot of times, the first time you use Google Slides, this is all you have, okay? And this is simplified. It does give you some choices, but there's two problems. One, you can't see all the choices. Two, you kind of have to know what all these little symbols and pictures mean. So you're just going to go up here, and you're going to click that, and there's your menus, okay? Now that you have this menu, you can basically get to anything you need to be able to do on Google Slides. For example, insert a new slide. Slide, new slide. There we go. Um, when I inserted this slide, I don't need it to look like this. This is not, I'm not making a title. So I'm going to go to slide, apply layout, and I'm going to pick one that maybe I think would work for me, okay? You can insert, insert, image. I'd already been looking up pictures for this um, project. Ooh, I like that one. There you go. See, you're following my clicks here. I'm just going to insert. Um, ooh, that's just a nice photograph. All right. Um, and you see here, I'm just kind of doing a little click and drag to move stuff around. Um, what if, for example, I wanted to change my font? The question was about underwater hotel, so I'm going to write underwater hotel. I'm going to make sure I've selected the whole text box. And now I have this menu up here with the pictures. This is when this little picture menu is helpful. There are words and numbers too. But I can do things that are a little more creative. I'm going to pick something a little simpler. There we go. I like that one. Okay. With this menu right here, now I can do things like make a bulleted list and say, I like the ocean. I know I'm writing like very simple level right now. I think it would be cool to see the animals and other sea creatures at night. So on and so on and so forth. Okay. So I have this menu here. Again, I can either pick it up or I can do control A come up here, change my font, stuff like that, okay? Again, if you don't have this up here, you might be a little confused by some of the things that teachers are talking about. So, I'm going to change my background. I'm just going to make it dark blue. Do, 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 do. It's not quite the color I wanted, but okay. I'm going to click that. I want to make my text box white. You see how this is going? So if you don't have this toolbar showing up, you need to fix that because that's going to make all of this stuff go a lot faster and a lot easier. Okay? Um, so hopefully that helps. Just remember, it's that little thing right there. Make it go away. Make it come back. One quick little question. Um, someone had asked me about their bookmarks bar. This is your bookmarks bar. It has nothing to do with Google Slides, okay? So some of you guys, I think, I, were a little confused about that. Your bookmarks bar is awesome. You need to have a bookmark bar. Um, but this is something completely different, okay? So just make sure that's clarified. If you have any questions, ask your teacher or ask me, and we'll see what we can do to help you. Thanks. Bye.